Hey, this is Notzer, and we're talking Inertia Fuse High Explosive. Why? Because I think it's irrelevant to the game. Now, I can see the humor in that statement, especially coming from me, of all people. If you're not familiar, eight months ago, I really liked one of my 203s. In fact, I made it sound like it improved my ability to do damage to lightly armored targets, which it doesn't. And I discovered that probably a week later through my own research. Fast forward four months, Wargaming introduces a patch where it's going to be reducing the effectiveness of Inertia Fuse High Explosive on light cruisers. 150, 155, that window was closing. It was quite clear what Wargaming wanted. They wanted it only used on destroyers. However, the community hated this huge uproar it was going to take your fire chance down five more percent and that would just kill a lot of cruisers fire is pretty significant part of a cruiser playing it forces a battleship to be vulnerable and cruisers and destroyers but when you have like less than six or five percent fire chance it just it feels almost helpless that's what the americans feel like by default the destroyers with their small gun caliber and they were going to introduce that on the cruisers well everyone hated that and wargaming backed out on that instead they improved the light the small gun caliber 139 and below fire chance from minus three percent to minus one so you only take a one percent chance hit if you put it on any destroyer in the game, except for obviously the two German destroyers that have larger than 139. So clearly it is taken on every single destroyer in the game. Everyone loves it. Actually, no, not a single ship is taking the skill that wasn't taking it prior to that patch. And that's really depressing. How much time went into considering putting that change in to its irrelevancy to the game. This is the same patch where the smoke still firing was removed and now it blooms up based on the gun caliber. And we absolutely noticed that improvement to the game. But the inertia fuse patch, irrelevant. Pretty much just like the skill. It's only taken on ships that feel awkward without it. Akizuki. Hirokase with the smaller gun caliber, which is basically the Akizuki guns. The Atlanta and the Flint taken. And all of these ships require a very extensive commander to be equivalent to their competition. That's a bad sign. That means either the ship itself has deficiencies that really shouldn't be quite as bad, or the skill itself is just covering up Something that is wrong with the design, and I think something is wrong with the design when you need inertia fuse high explosive. It just feels bad. If you don't have a commander with inertia fuse high explosive on the Akizuki, you're probably going, who the hell likes this ship? The HE is shattering on everything because the gun caliber is so insignificant, even the smallest armor on a destroyer is causing the HE to shatter. So you need inertia fuse so it doesn't feel completely ridiculous. And that's part of the point here. It's a skill that is borderline necessary just to make some ships function. Let's make those ships function without the skill, first of all. It also requires a fair bit of math because you want to know exactly what it's providing you. And none of this is actually communicated in game. If you didn't know it, you would have no idea what your gun caliber can do damage to with HE and what it can't. And where do you get this number? Wikipedia, you get it through the subreddit, the forums. HE, you take the gun caliber and you divide it by six. But oh yeah, there are certain ships and ship lines where you divide it by four. And this is only announced when the announcement for the line of the ship and it's it's not really placed anywhere maybe the wikipedia editors are trying to do their due diligence by placing that information but how many people go to the wikipedia 
This information should be in-game wargaming. Every single commander skill I take, I should see a response in the UI that it's helping me or hurting me or whatever. Why am I bringing this up today? Well, I'm going on vacation and I wanted to talk about something that will cause people to voice their opinion. I don't really care if you're plus or minus. I want something that gets the community discussing. And this is an issue. We all admit that the commander skills are getting stale. There's very little variety. Concealment is an auto take on 98% of the ships now. I remember when I was making videos and I had concealment on my battleship and I would get comments, why would you waste time taking concealment on a battleship? Yeah, I, and it's it, it feels almost unbelievable now because it's just so useful to your offensive and defensive with absolutely no trade-off. Why do we have some skills that are clearly very balanced without the trade-off, having a trade-off where you have to say, boy, I'm giving up power in this field to get a little bit over here, but I don't really feel like the skill itself is worth the points. That's where I'm at with Inertia Fusi Explosive. That's where I'm at with the aircraft carrier chance to repair and rearm while fire is up on the ship. If you don't play an aircraft carrier, if there is a fire set on the aircraft carrier, you cannot repair or rearm your squadron. You have to wait for the fire to go out or you put it out yourself. But no one takes that because your damage control is going to be up a fairly reasonable amount of time. And you're investing three points into a skill that probably is going to see use one in every 30 battles, if that. That's just too much to invest in something so insignificant. And then we had something like situation awareness, where it became so required that everyone took it. Well, they took it out of the commander skill and everyone has it baked in. Again, I remember playing as a battleship, taking situation awareness and people going, why would I need situation awareness? I'm always detected. It gives you a lot of free information. And Inertia Fuse is just a skill that I want to see removed from the game. I want to see something placed in that slot that is competitive with concealment. I want concealment removed from the game for a completely different reason. I want to see the commander skills evolve towards more variety, more real choices, and more interesting gameplay than it spawns from taking the skill. I don't want it to be, okay, well... Everyone can take the same builds and play the same way because that's the only valid way to play. That's boring. That's not enticing at all. And we're at that stage right now. So I really have a vested interest in Inertia Fuse High Explosive through my past. If I'm someone who is saying that the skill feels irrelevant it probably is <laughs> because I was singing praises eight months ago for my 203s I didn't even attempt to equip it the, the changes that they were going to introduce in the uh, patch that was four months ago on any of my destroyers because I knew it's too expensive I would never take it why are you making these changes it needs to be cheaper if you intend for it to be in the game now, if it was cheaper, would that change my stance on it? Well, hmm, I don't know. It would definitely be something that would be more interesting if it was cheaper, because then you're starting to say, okay, I have to decide, do I want faster rate of fire on my guns, faster cooldown on my torpedoes? So I want to be able to have a defensive skill like Vigilance, superintendent the extra charge maybe i'm not going to run premium i need that extra charge to compensate for not running premium you should run premium it's much more interesting when the skills are actually equal to the importance of the other skills in that tier set in that in that level set it's not interesting to see concealment so necessary that it's 
always the first take skill for everything. Literally everything and everyone. That's not compelling. That's not compelling. It just means I've already got some of these things locked up. Expert marksman. For a long time, there was a lot of slow turrets that traversed in horrendous Mogami 155s. But Wargaming dialed it back, and you can see where it's not a guaranteed take on some skills. Plus, it is competing with a drill rush, which is fantastic. I would love to see a level 4 skill that works similar to a drill and rush. Based on the damage you take, something about your ship improves. I think that would be really cool. We need more aggressive skills that encourage that aggression. We also need Wargaming to address the elephant in the room. It doesn't really feel like people are speeding up their gameplay. Even though we've made all these changes, you know, you can't camp and smoke. We've got HE to cancel out the bow on gameplay of the battleship. It still feels like there's no incentive to be aggressive. And that's because there isn't. Why would I risk my ship and not benefit from the capture? We need to extend that capture out further. So everyone who contributed to taking that capture point will actually get points for taking the point. And I recognize that I said point about 17 times there, but you, you get my intention. I don't want to say get the point. I just want to see the game evolve in a good direction. And Inertia Fuse High Explosive is contributing to nothing. Concealment, honestly, is contributing to nothing. If everyone has it, it's not unique. Take it out of the commander skill tree. I really want to see a commander skill revisit soon, Wargaming. Very soon. Like the next three to five patches. I would, I would push this forward quickly. Just because, yes, the aircraft carrier is absolutely a huge issue. But so is the commander skills. The commander skills are just not interesting. They're too similar. Most ships and ship types, they're all taking the exact same things. No matter how large or how small their gun caliber, they're all taking the exact same thing, and that's not a good sign. So, I hope this was interesting. I, I realize exactly what I'm stepping my foot into. I enjoy talking about the game, though. I love the idea of design for games. It's, it's intriguing to me. Some of you interpret it as, you hate the game, why do you hate the game, quit the game. I would talk about anything in depth. I love Star Wars, but I hate Force Awakens because I want it to live up to what it can be. I don't talk about random movie that I have no interest in because I couldn't care less. But because I'm talking about something, I am invested in it. This is out of love. I love finding new things, discovering, enjoying the game, the growth of the game. And I want it to continue. I want us to grow as a community. I want it to be more compelling. We can do that by getting rid of awkward skills that don't contribute to the game. And honestly, they do the opposite. They make this game less fun for people who are veterans and new players because it's just uninteresting or it's difficult to understand. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.